In this video I'll be showing you how to use GIMP G -I -M -P, um, to edit out text in an image and also replaces with replace it with different text. Okay. So I'll bring up GIMP. Um, I'm not sure how you, yours will pull up, whether you'll have all these toolbox laid out or your tool, your options or your layers and brushes. But I've had this for so long, I, I actually forgot how the original layout is. But don't let this intimidate you. You can kind of figure it out. Um, the main thing would be this window right here would be your canvas, your working canvas. So we'll click on File, Open, and I'm going to find where the image that I want to um, edit. And let's see. It'll be a cow. I'm going to use a cow. for this example. So as we can see there's a um, link here is where you're supposed to put your link. Okay, So the first thing you have to do is remove that and the easiest way to do that well with with um, GIMP there's two ways you can use the eraser or you can use a paintbrush. Eraser would just erase it I'll click on that and show you. And I just erase it. If you make a mistake, just hold down your control key and push on Z. Or you can undo. I already undid it. But normally undo would be clickable. Okay. Or the other option is, and this is my favorite way of doing it, just in case you have a different background. Um, click on the color picker, left click, and you can see the little eyedropper. Uh, left click on any the background color because what you're doing is memorizing or having your computer or the, the software remember the background color because what you're going to do is paint over the link here using the same background color. So left click it saves it as you can see right here. Let's say if I click on the red see it saves it right here right so I click back on the link, it makes it red. Then I can use my paintbrush, left click on paintbrush, and you can change the size of your paintbrush by clicking right here. Um, you can make it lengthwise like that, or I just keep it as a circle. So make sure your, your background or your color is white, same as your background color. Hold down your left mouse button as you drag across and just wipe it out. Now normally I would save this as a separate file and name it as cow or blank cow. This way if you want to change the URL again you can just add a, a different URL number or URL text in here. And to add a text while you're here, just click on the text or the, the letter text. And the color right here is, is going to be the color of your text. So if you keep it the same as background, it's not going to show. So we want to save it or create a, let's say a darker blue. Click OK. And you still have a text clicked on. 
find your location, left click, and start typing in. And you can change the text, the, the font, right over here. Um, I like to use uh, let's say Arial Heavy. Okay. And you can increase the size. And to move the location, you'll have to come up here and click on this cross arrow, the move tool, and move your cursor until you see the cross arrow. Left click, hold on it, and move it. Okay. Now, I like using GIMP because it's it's the closest thing to Photoshop and once you understand like the different layers on this box up here it says layers we have original cow um, image that we inserted then we inserted the link which up here is a different or the text which is a different layer so actually This layer right here is a, this link right here is a separate layer. And once you start messing around, let's say you want to make you want to create your own image like this, you can start with a, a blank canvas. You can put your cow as one layer on top of the canvas, and then put this text: "No traffic, no money." as a different layer and your your join today button as a different layer um, these dollar bills here as a different layer and you'll notice the dollar bills here just by manipulating your layers this set of dollar bills here is behind this layer right here and this set of dollar bills is in front of this layer right here of join today okay just to give you a, a, the power of this software so just editing this link or removing um, the original link and then entering your own that's just one step towards learning GIMP so once you have this done just go up to file um, oh GIMP just recently changed uh, if you save it, it's going to save it as a GIMP format, so it can only be edited in GIMP. Um, if you figure or if you think you're going to want to re-edit it later on, you can save it as a GIMP format. This way you pull it up and re-edit in GIMP. But normally you would just export it, because I don't... To me, it's just so easy to, to redo this stuff. So I just export it. And you'll have to find out where you want to export it to. I'm going to keep it in the same folder. But I'm going to rename it as cow with URL. OK, anytime you're, you're dealing with uh, file names, especially with HTML you don't want to use spaces always use either a dash or an underscore because spaces will do some weird things with the HTML coding okay so I'm saving this as a cow with the URL that I edited in export oh 
I already have that. Yeah, I, I replaced it with my URL, so I'm not going to replace it. I'm just going to cancel in this, but you get the, the idea. Okay. I hope it makes sense and have fun with it.